George here and it's a real honour for me to be able to introduce this special film to you, a complete tour of Adam Pascala's ADA Idea Studio here in Tishy, Poland. We'll take a look at all of the scapes, we'll talk about them in a bit of detail. Really hope you enjoy this video and hopefully you'll get a sense of how special this place really is. So this is the first aquascape you see as you enter the studio. You go up the stairs and you're greeted with this beautiful ADA 60P. There's a really interesting story behind this aquascape. It was actually the winner of a Polish aquascaping contest that was held last year. A group of aquascapers get together, they all scape ADA 60Ps and like I said this was the one that won. In fact I think I've been invited to judge the contest this year so super excited about that. The equipment itself starting from the bottom we've got entirely ADA, we've got the super jet filter, we've got the glass cabinet, the beautiful CO2, pressurised CO2 system there, a glass pollen CO2 diffuser there, lily pipes, and then the lighting is the Solar 2, which is two power compact fluorescent tubes. I think they're 36 watts each, and it's on the, the ADA light stand as well. So beautiful system, one of the kind of classics, the ADA 60P, and a beautiful aquascape to show it off really well. The aquascape itself, as you can see, is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of an ancient underwater forest. The complex textures that are going on, we've got the Physidens, we've got small species of rare Bucophalandra, Anubius, there's lots of different mosses in there. We've got some Ricardia. And the sense of scale from the fish is amazing. These are a Hyphesa brycon species, I think. I'm not actually sure what species they are. If you know, let me know in the comments below. That would be really helpful. And you can see the use of wood is really invoking this kind of ancient forest feel. Just a, a really beautiful aquascape and something that's quite sustainable as well. We haven't got lots of fast growing stem plants or fast growing plants at all. So just a, a, a beautiful 60p, one of the nicest I've seen in a long time. In fact, you might want to check out Yuri's video on this. He did a dedicated video on this scape. So I'll leave a link to that in the iCard up there and in the description. Next, I want to show off this beautiful Dua, that's D-O-O-A, which is a brand from ADA. This is the System Terra 30, so it's 30 centimetres long. It comes complete with the filtration, the back wall, etc. You can have added fogger. There's a CO2, which is Dua as well, for underwater section. And we've got the Aquasky G301 LED lighting. And I just love these. In fact, I'm getting one at home fairly soon, so I'm really excited to set one of these up myself. Comes also with the liquid fertilizer for the underwater section. And then we have the spray for the emerged plants up here. And something really quite special about these, I really love this above water and underwater thing going on. It really invokes this sense of nature and I think it's a beautiful addition to Adam's studio. This is my favourite escape in the entire gallery, absolutely beautiful. It's been running for about 18 months now, two years, and it's classic Adam Pascala style, loads of hardscape, beautiful use of Frodo stone, lots of epiphyte plants, lots of mosses. I love the wood coming out the top, there's some plants going out the top as well, some terrestrial plants as well as uh, aquatic, some Anubius. It's just absolutely stunning. It even looks good from behind, which is not really designed to be viewed from. And it just, for me, it invokes this real sense of peace. You can sit here you know, for hours, just lost in your own sort of thoughts. And it, it can really kind of 
ease your mind, relax you, and that's for me what nature aquariums are really about. And in fact, this entire space, it really does bring about this sense of peace and uh, it's a real, real special place. The tank itself measures 150 centimetres by 65 by 65, which is five feet by two, just over two feet by two feet. So about 165 gallons or just over 600 litres. So it is a large tank and I just love the way Adams just use really small fish. He's got black neon tetras, cardinal tetras. Just the use of textures, the use of natural materials is just outstanding and it's a real credit to Adam's talent and his skill. There's only a few people in the world that can create such an impressive layout with such amazing materials. Equipment wise, Adam's running two Max Lights. I've seen these before. There's one unit running at Aquarium Gardens. I believe Andy Tam is the curator of them. Similar kind of color rendition to the ADA Solar RGB but arguably not quite an, as nice a design. And Adam doesn't actually have any of the solar RGBs running in the studio right now. I think he had to sell them all basically because there's such a high demand for them. And Adam is a distributor for ADA products. Uh, filtration, we're using two huge super jets. Uh, I'm not sure which models they are. They're kind of insulated with some rubber, so I can't quite see the details on there but they're the stainless steel ADA Superjet filters, really, really nice quality. Inline heating as well, the high door inline heaters. Pressurized CO2, running uh, the largest pollen glass diffuser there in the corner. The actual aquarium glass itself, I don't think this is ADA. Uh, I think it's a custom build. It looks like it's 15 millimeter low iron glass, uh, really nice build a custom stand for it as well which has been hand built uh, super high quality solid wood and just uh, matches the interior decor of the studio perfectly. Next I want to talk about these two beautiful ADA 90Ps both lit with the original ADA Solar Ones with the NA green lamps by the look of them. In fact, this one might be the original NA lamp, I think, and this one is the NA green. This one has the amazing new LED light screen, which is an illuminated LED back panel, which gives you this amazing kind of graduated blue background. The contrasting layouts, this one is relatively new. It's almost like an Iwagumi crossed with a, a Ryabuka, which is a, a wood-based layout. So you've got a really strong rock layout here with the Frodo stone and then you've got some beautiful manzanita wood, there's some epiphyte plants, we've got some Anubius pangolino, there's some taxophyllum moss there. It's a lovely layout, Remunose tetras with a few cardinal tetras, classic fish selection, but just a stunning layout. This one is very interesting, now this has been running for years, I think six or seven years now, it's kind of evolved over this time. Uh, real kind of dark and ancient kind of feel to it. Got a mixture of Frodo stone and, and Syriou stone in there. A bit of a mishmash of fish. We've got some Pentazona barbs, Cardinal tetras, Serpe tetras, Cherry barbs. There's even a better in there as well. He seems very happy. A really interesting layout. Super deep substrate at the back there, creating this sun pathway. Uh, but just two di completely different styles of uh, aquascape in the same aquarium. And it just gives you an idea of what you can achieve. And I think that's one of the great things about this studio. It not only just showcases Adam's skill at aquascaping, but uh, the range of products and styles that are achievable. So I'm hoping most of you have already seen this by now. There is a full tutorial video on how we created this ADA 45H, full ADA system again, glass stand, super jet filter, all the aquariums in here running the super jet filters. It's got the ADA Aquasky uh, Green, which is the uh, G version to help pop the greens. There's also the original version on there as well. 
So in my opinion, a little bit too much light, but more for video purposes. I anticipate they'd only run the one Aqua Sky in the longer term. I'm just really looking forward to seeing how this one develops. I'm sure Adam will give us uh, regular updates on his Instagram. I'll leave his Instagram um, account link in the description and also in the bottom of the screen right now. So do follow him on Instagram, beautiful photography from his studio to keep you guys updated with all the beautiful aquascapes here. Not much more to say about this. Check out the video and you'll, you'll find out loads more about it. Let's move on to the final aquascape, another 90p. So last but not least, this beautiful ADA 90p on the steel garden stand from ADA. Again, super jet filter, inline heating. This is running the metal halide lamps, which are now becoming kind of superseded by LED. Still a nice light, but just not so efficient as LED, but obviously capable of growing plants, no problem. Another beautiful layout from Adam, a real strong hardscape using the branch wood, which is the main kind of filling wood, and then some locally collected uh, bush wood up here as well, which adds a real kind of sense of this outdoor nature, bringing it into the, into the aquarium. Rocks, we've got the classic Frodo stone, no surprise there and another beautiful collection of epiphyte plants. Got a real large bucophalandra here, which I've not seen before. It's an interesting species, some bulbitis, different mosses. I think there's some trident fern in there as well. And it uh, looks like it's just a collection of live bearing fish, which is a, a nice interesting change to see in a nature aquarium. So another beautiful aquascape created by Adam Pascella in this amazing idea studio and a worthy addition. <laughs> So there we have it guys, brief insight into the beautiful world of Adam's ADA Idea Studio. It's actually hard to describe the feeling you get when you're here. I'm not religious or really spiritual, but you get a feeling of peace, well-being, health, the opposite of anxiety and stress, uh, therapy, I guess. You could say it's a, a place of, of deep therapy. And it just helps to reconnect you with nature when you spend any time in a space like this. You can sit in front of any of these aquascapes and I can guarantee you'd feel much better afterwards. So I want to thank Adam so much for inviting me over to his beautiful studio here. And thanks, I've got to give a special thanks to my new friend Wolfie for helping out behind the scenes as well as in front of the camera. Super talented young guy, so keep an eye out for him. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. There's only so many ways I can say beautiful, wonderful, and things like this. Hopefully you agree. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Which of these beautiful scapes is your favorite? Super hard to choose. My personal favorite is the 150 centimeter, the largest. But let me know what yours is, and more importantly, why it's your favorite. Always interested to know your thoughts. Always read all of your comments, and they're always really appreciated. So you take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio. Vodka? Coffee? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, vo yeah, coffee's good. <laughs> Not vodka. <laughs> no.